Tibet's most iconic landmarks is, of course, the Patala Palace in Lhasa. Dating back more than 13 centuries, the palace is a major attraction for tourists who now marvel at the Asian religious relics and elaborate Tangka paintings. A reporter, Zhang Lini, reports on how such treasures are being preserved so that they can be appreciated by many more generations to come. Every visitor to Lhasa shouldn't miss the chance to visit its most important landmark, the Potala Palace. Towering over the city for 1,300 years, the white and red structure embodies the essence of Tibetan architectural style and houses many precious artifacts. In the 21st century, it is the centerpiece of the most extensive and the biggest renovation project ever conducted in Tibet. Repairs on the spectacular wall paintings in particular are still going on even now. For pilgrims, the sacred Potala Palace marks the end of their trip. Nestled across the Lhasa River, the palace attracts devotees embarking on soul-searching journeys. Several renovations have consolidated the majestic structure, but repairing the huge and exquisite murals is a painstaking task. 42-year-old Luo Bu Sida is the sole skilled worker capable of the job. For the past six years, he's been working on alternating days at the Potala Palace. Currently, I'm working at the most revered hall in the Red Palace. Its mural has rich historical content. It's very elaborate. I've never seen such paintings anywhere else since I started learning at 13. But man-made and natural effects have taken their toll on the mural. Some sections are peeled off, where others bear faded colors. Restoring the painting means going to considerable lengths, including ensuring it corresponds with archive pictures and working in dimly lit conditions due to fire safety concerns. But none of this deters Luo Bu Sida. Sometimes I sit there checking the archives all day without even drawing a single stroke. My eyesight is deteriorating from working in dim light. But despite these difficulties, I feel obligated to take part in the renovation. China started seven-year maintenance projects as early as 2002 on Tibet's three cultural heritage sites, the Potala Palace, the Nobolinka Palace, and Sagia Monastery. Now the projects are in their second phase. Working in rhythm with their distinct throat singing, these workers are undertaking an even loftier task, restoring the roof of the Draipong Monastery. It's part of a larger project that involves the renovation of another 22 sites. Bit by bit, they have restored these monasteries to their former glory to ensure they stand the test of time for many more years. Back in his Tanka art studio, Luo Bu Star has another task, ensuring his heir carries on the work of 300-year-old Mansa school of Tanka. I have learned to paint for the past 12 years. I spent six years studying how to draw sketches and another six years learning to paint different religious gods. This is a family tradition that I must carry on. The Mesa School of Tanka features fine touches and bright tones. It's the style mostly found inside the Potala Palace and the Taj Lumpo Monastery. Gong Jue hopes to follow the footsteps of his uncle and also take up the brush. Most of Robo Star's time is divided into repairing the murals and passing on his skills to the next generation. He can interpret lesser known Asian archives and geographical presentations. And in so doing, he acts as a bridge between the millennium old culture to the present day. Zhang Yini, CCTV, Lhasa.